What up with it? It's your boy Q Tao. And here we are in 2017, Father's Day. My lady was very kind to me and got me an AK Advanced 49 keyboard. Now, I've been researching, reading about it, reading about it, and it's been out a few years now. But what I have not seen is somebody actually use the BIP software within the workflow of machine. So here, we got the box, nice and pretty. And right there, low play and control complete. They got that real big for that not really be their product. But anyway, very nice packaging, nice box. I'm gonna bust it out. And right here, I got my machine MK2. So, my goal today is to get the VIP software loaded in there, get everything loaded, not really get all my maps set up yet, but just, you know, get the foundation of it put in. Then I want to see how it actually looks in machine. That's what I have not been able to find out. All the digging, looking for videos. I've been seeing in forums that it works okay, but I haven't seen anybody actually show it in machine. The VIP uh, VST, it should be loaded as VST in one of the tracks or slots open it boom and then load another instance and another instance and another and another you know what i'm saying to see if that works properly or if it just overwrites itself you know what i'm saying i just want to see if that works well the vip software with the machine so i'm about to break it out and then we're gonna load it up into machine and then see what we're looking like let go all right so got vip loaded everything's good to go I did have to go into my MIDI settings and check the Advanced Port 9 USB Port 1 and Advanced MIDI Port 2. Also key to note that when you use the note repeat or the appreciator, it will actually record the MIDI notes into machine itself. So we're going to hit record. Then. So now I can play that back. Your machine. And it actually recorded so <sighs> sorry i had to show that i had to show this well because i know some people had some questions about that so the projector and note repeat does work right off jump right out the gate so now let's really get to it i promise we get into it now bip software loaded in machine let's do it okay so the download took some time it was a pretty big file 3.5 gigs but as you can see here bip 64 boom it popped up and there we go we got VIP right there loaded up once I record some kind of pattern here when I open up another instance is it gonna play nice with me so let's go ahead and try that out you can without a doubt load multiple instances so I got my pads here all VIP Hit a different one. No problem. No problem. So you can definitely load the sounds in there. No problem at all. But the issue is here. In the browser itself, it does not sync up with the screen. So I can hit a certain instrument. Boom, no problem. Hit another pad. Boom. But as you see, what you got going on here doesn't change. All right, and just that fast, man, by hitting a few buttons, man, I was already sitting there thinking like, man, I'm about to take it back, get the S control. It's gonna work out a little bit better, man. And then I just hit the right button at the right time. So, as you can see here, I have one of my plugins in place. And if you want to change and adjust a particular um, patch that you got loaded, you just hit the arrow here under the browser window, boom. And then, bam, there you are. Dawn control. And then you can scroll within the instances of VIP that you have loaded. And you can adjust. And just go back, same thing there. So if I want to change the sound on one of these, I can do so. So with that, man, that's super clutch, bro. With that, I'm mad at focus, but it's all good. With that, man, fire. Fire, bro. I'm keeping the controller. It's dope. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video helped you. I know I was a little bit over the place, but hey, I was excited about the controller, man. Until next time, though, peace.